daily routine. Today we are going to finish painting the Bronco. Uh, there's still a little bit left to do. We just got the paint from Eastwood uh, the other day. Um, because I left it in my cart and uh, thought I paid for it but I didn't and then I waited 10 days and then I checked on it and realized that I hadn't bought it so now it's here and we're going to continue on this but the first thing I'm going to do is unengineer the engineering that I did on the booth uh, and re-engineer it these fans were pushing and then I had two fans pulling I'm going to have no fans pushing and then I'm going to have four fans pulling so that's what I'm doing right now I'm going to get this out here and then we're going to paint so this is the final day of paint for uh, the Bronco which is a positive thing we're going to uh, paint the inside of the truck uh, I'm only going to put one coat of paint maybe maybe two coats in some areas uh, and then I'm going to clear it uh, because we're going to carpet this anyway and we're probably going to have a noise barrier down as well so uh, the paint is more for protection than it is to actually have any aesthetic value. There's a lot of overspray inside the cab, so uh, I don't necessarily want to go that crude, so I'm going to go through and scuff this real quick, uh, then take a vacuum and vacuum it out, tape off the jams and anything that's already been painted, and then I'm just going to go to town and whip it out. Then I'm going to let it cure uh, for about two hours. I'm going to push it out into the sun, and then I'm going to bring all the rest of the panels back in here, uh, and we're going to paint uh, the fronts of the doors, the back side of the tailgate, the top of the hood, and I still have to put another coat of primer on that, and, uh, and then the fenders and some ancillary hinges and pieces and stuff like that, and then boom, we're done. So let's get started. This is where you need to get your spouse involved, because it's very boring work. I mean, who needs date nights when you have <laughs> when you have date labor, right? Date right, date labor. No, I need date nights. All right, shipment from Eastwood. It's a fashion pair of scissors to get this open. Activator. Show clear. Dust Canyon copper. We'll see if it matches. Activator for the paint. New Eastwood catalog. All right. Looks like uh, powder coating on this issue. That'd be nice. Yeah. Get a little powder coating going. And then what we need now. Some tack cloths, let's get this thing tacked. This might be easier if we tilt the rotisserie to where the bed is facing out. I can paint the whole thing in one shot instead of having to move the, the uh, hose all the way around the truck a couple of times. So we're going to tilt it, see what it looks like. If it doesn't look like we want it to, then we're going to tilt it back. Something made a noise. Oh. Let's see. Not sure. Uh, my frame is giving away. Okay, so. Oh, honey. Yeah, we have a problem. Oh, gosh. That's what I heard. Okay, so what we're going to do 
This is a problem. This is a this is a really big problem. All right, let's go ahead and tilt it back up. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. okay. This is one second away from failing on this side. Okay. So, so what do you want me to do? do? I need you to come over here. I need you to hold the bed, end of the bed. If this thing falls, yeah, this is not good. Where are the saw horses? I heard I hear it cracking. It's you, you can drop it on that side. How are you going to fix that? Go ahead and move the bed back on the chassis, and you just paint it on the chassis. Yeah, our uh, rotisserie just broke a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. Built it, I can fix it. This will fix it. All right, so the way that I designed this was with the wood, which is totally fine. I promise you it's gonna be okay. Here's the problem is on this side, I only put, I only drilled two holes on this side. So it was only being supported by two holes on either side hooked to the engine hoist. And the other side is actually got four bolts through it. And the reason why is because this one's taller. So in order to level them out, I just basically dropped this down and just had them in two. And then when I went to go turn it, I forgot to uh, loosen up this and uh, with the torque, the weight of the the vehicle and, and of course my raw power, I was able to split this wood. Now, luckily, it was built so well that it just split all the way through, but it didn't actually let go. It was held on by like a quarter inch of wood. Um, so we placed a couple of saw horses underneath it to brace it, and then uh, put some tie down straps on there and cinched it back up. And that's how we're gonna get it back through the rest of this paint job. Uh, then I'll take the body off, put it back on the frame and then repair this, and then we'll be good for the next Bronco. Fixed. I had to do one more touch up on the uh, rockers here because when I epoxy primed the uh, rockers, some of the plastic had folded over when I wasn't looking and basically epoxy glued itself to the rocker and I had to sand all the way through everything, all the way to the metal to get all that plastic out. So I had to redo the rockers, but the rockers are done on both sides. And now the bed is complete. Look at that sexy stuff. Okay, we got the tub done. Tub is done and uh, we are ready to finish up season uh, three in the next episode. So the next episode will be the finale of season three. And then season four, uh, we're gonna start on all of the uh, transmission engine, running gear, uh, finish the chassis, that kind of thing. So uh, appreciate you hanging out for this. It's been a year in the making to get this thing painted, uh, but it's finally almost done. It'll be done in the next episode, but uh, and then we're going to review it outside, uh, let the sun shine on it, and uh, see uh, what kind of flaws we can pick out on it. Um, and that's going to come up in the next couple days. That's a wrap for Mile Point 3 Garage. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.